Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Liz Collin. Today, hundreds of thousands of people marched across the country in support of tighter gun control. From Washington, D.C. to Chicago to Philadelphia, even here in Minnesota, young people are leading the charge for change. That includes a group of students from Henry Sibley High School in Mendota Heights. We begin tonight with Jeff Wagner in Washington, D.C., as the group of Minnesota students rallied for their rights. Amidst a crowd expected to reach 500,000 people, at least 100 of them were Minnesota high schoolers in D.C. for the March for Our Lives rally. We are loud, we are proud! Wearing their bright orange hoodies with the hashtag Minnesota Never Again, the group marched their way towards the Capitol, joining forces with teenagers, their parents, and other supporters from across the country. The crowd seemed to never end, peaking at noon when the rally began. Students held up their signs demanding gun control reform and that their lives and safety be a priority to lawmakers. The speakers at the rally included students from Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, as well as teenagers from across the country who have lost loved ones to gun violence. I am truly blessed to be here. I'm definitely not taking it for granted. And I think that the message that we're uh, sending here today is representative of the beliefs of every other Minnesota student who can't be here today. What I wanted it to be was an opportunity for kids to see what their voices can do. And in the shadow of the Capitol, we've got 100 students who have uh, heard the words of some of these kids. Of all the emotions students tell me they felt today, near the top was gratitude, for it was donations totaling more than $30,000 that helped make this entire trip for them possible. In Washington, D.C., Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. And you can follow Jeff for live reports on Facebook from Washington, D.C. We will also have the latest on WCCO 4 News tonight at 6 and 10.